Rabbi Mark Schneier is the president of the Foundation for Ethnic Understanding and he joins us now from Doha. Thank you very much for being with us, Rabbi. What's happening? Are these reports true? These reports are absolutely false. There is no basis whatsoever. We are very proud uh, here in Doha to have uh, created a platform uh, to uh, provide kosher food uh, for Jewish fans. I've been working closely with the Qatari leadership now for five years, since 2017, on different issues that relate uh, to Jewish fans uh, here in attendance. First was to have access to kosher food. The second was to make sure that the World Cup would be welcoming to all Jews, including Israelis, and third, uh, direct flights from Israel to Doha. So I can unequivocally state that the suggestion that Qatar is banning kosher food uh, is just simply false. Um, we opened a kosher kitchen, the first kosher kitchen ever in Qatar, uh, thanks to the generosity of Qatar uh, Airlines, its chairman at the QACC, uh, one of their beautiful kitchen facilities is now strictly kosher. Uh, we have two rabbinic supervisors, uh, Rabbi Mendy uh, Chitrik and his son, Rabbi Eli Chitrik of Istanbul, Turkey. Uh, we're providing sandwiches and other so, uh, kosher de delicacies. Right. So I can tell you, my, my, my dear, All right. there is absolutely no basis for oh, it. Right, OK, because a lot of uh, media outlets here in Israel are reporting that it has been banned by authorities. Do you have any idea where these reports might be coming from? Yes, I know where it's coming from. I know the article that was written uh, spreading this uh, scurrilous rumor. Uh, I can only tell you that Qatar, in terms of its three commitments uh, to the Jewish people, kosher food, including all Jews and Israelis and direct flights, that the state of Qatar has delivered on all three. And it's unfortunate that there was a report uh, published by a reporter at absolutely no basis whatsoever. Uh, you're welcome in Doha. And we have the kosher they're, food. They're reporting and the that Qataris have been very, very supportive. They're reporting that bagels are allowed, but absolutely no cooked kosher food. Again, the menu was chosen by us, and we decided to go with the theme of bagels. I, I assure you that if we wanted to go with uh, hot food, with warm food, that the Qataris would be very, very supportive. Uh, this is a step by step. Uh, process. Uh, we don't even know how many kosher consumers there are. Mm -hmm. It was a conscious decision on our part uh, to begin with different sandwiches, with different foods. And I can assure you, if we have to go in the direction of having hot food, that the uh, Qataris would be very, very uh, supportive of this action. So you can assure us then that all observant religious Jews uh, traveling to Qatar for the World Cup will able be able to pray without being hindered, will be able to have cooked, warm, kosher food, and will be generally welcomed by the Qatari authorities. 150%. It's just shameful that a reporter chose to write uh, this kind of uh, scurrilous uh, story and to spread these rumors that have absolutely, totally no basis whatsoever. All right. You heard it from the rabbi himself. Rabbi Shania, thank you very much thank indeed. You. Pleasure.